with some poison. I'll have Grumpos move so he can bash one of these guys. I think these guys go down in one shot. Miss. You miss. And now this battle ends. Forty-two bucks, two heel greases, and another Brebulin Bugo gem. I guess that's a, just a generic thing I'll have to sell. Nothing over here. Here is where we see Eddie. So uh, let's go meet Eddie. No offering, no pass. Well, maybe I have to talk to this guy. Tell him about the sock. Offering? Very nice. Very nice. Only one may enter. Maintain distance. Make not sudden movement. Suspicious anything and we split you from your life. Understand? I guess so. Here we go. Go ahead, Boots. Got the other candidates around here waiting for Eddie, apparently. You'll never believe the offering I bought, Eddie. Are you sitting down? You're not going to believe this. Ready? It's a piece of string. Look at the way the tiny fibers intertwine. Look at how taut and strong it is. What's chewy about that? Are you kidding? I'm not falling for that. You just want to steal a gnar or two off my string. I know your type. Go get your own string. You see that guy's piece of string? Wow. I wish I had thought of that. The guy with the piece of string should wrestle the guy who brought floss. Someone brought floss? I'm still waiting for a number. Did you get a number? Let's pet the time minder here. Who's this dude? I'm here for Eddie, man. I'm here for the signs he gives. He writes them in the sand, man, of your mind. You know, like his brain. He's got a hotline to the truth, man. See, Eddie's got, like, the pot boiled, man. He's got the cards slipped. It's all in his head, man. All in his head. Trust me. Eddie knows, man. He knows. What's that thing? It's a gun! Hmm, what can I do with that, you say? Old Vistin pistol? Now I've got the Vistin 3-beam. It does more damage. Eddie don't tell fortunes. He don't predict the future. He just knows facts. Don't bug him with other shine. It's Mercury. Thank you, Mercury. I couldn't think of an offering to bring to Eddie until I remembered this dead bippy I found under a wind chute. It must have been under that wind chute for a while because it's partially mummified. Look at its tongue. It's not very chewy though, is it? Well, no, but look at its tongue. Wait till the guy with a piece of string sees this. I wasn't sure what to bring as an offering, so I brought my rubber duck. I had it since I was a kid. I used to take it to school with my pocket and the other kids would point at my pants. Hell, it's chewy enough and it tastes like my bath water. Eddie should love it. It's not very stinky though, is it? What's your point? Here's Eddie. Hey, 
There's Eddie, that guy huddled in the chair. Nash them snappers, kid. I got a sock <laughs> that eats like a meal. Outstanding. Most excellent. This putrid, unwashed, pus soaked, blood crusty sock was fermenting around a gangrenous stump of a foot for eight and a half months. <laughs> this is the chewiest, smelliest sock you'll ever have the luck to nosh on. And you're just a short QA away from sucking this baby dry. <clears throat> Sir, we're all impressed by the sock, but there are rules here, procedures. Wait your turn. Hey, behind the yellow line. You hear me? Get your butt back there. You can't just barge in without a number, sir. You have to wait outside. No. Let him ask. Let him ask. I'm trying to sneak into the Mistech tunnels, but someone's bolted a methadine door lord to the entrance. Happen to know an easy way around it? You must give Eddie the sock before he will answer. What? Forget it, then. Eddie's mind is overpopulated with information. Chewing helps him focus. It allows him to sort through the overwhelming data in his brain and pinpoint specific strands of thought. It's the only way he can concentrate. Sounds like a scam to me. Thanks, anyway. Fatima. What did you say? Fatima. Mm -hmm. Who's Fatima? How do you know about Fatima? <laughs> Much pain. Much pain. Huh. Eddie's gift is strong. <laughs> yeah, gross. Doylard has secret about brother. Very secret. Incriminating. You found dirt on his brother, huh? So you suggest blackmailing my way into the caves? Mm, blackmail, unnecessary secret, unnecessary knowledge of brother is enough. <laughs> well, enough. I guess, if you say so. Trust in Eddie will not misguide you. Okay, people, okay. Can we wrap this up, please? Eddie's got a lot of subjects left to see today, and we're way behind schedule. Hey, quit pushing, Punky. I'm history. Thanks for the help, Eddie. Don't go change it. I guess I don't get the sock back. Respect for pageantry. Next! Okay, that's that. I wonder what happens if I talk to this guy again. Ah, he just doesn't let me pass. Okay, I'm going to head back towards the entrance. There is a fork back there, then I'm gonna gonna take the other half now. Can't go up there, can I? So all we have to do apparently is we know that this door lord has a brother or something. And uh simply that knowledge by itself is enough. Well, where did I where do I go out? Where do I go out? Oh here we go. Hmm. So we're not even going to blackmail the door lord. But we're still going to get into the tunnels. Let's see how this works. Already been there. Already been here. that this is where I did not go earlier. Eddie knows. Yeah, I have not been here yet. Let's go this way. 